Hey you! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know my eyebrows look really crazy. I've just concealed them for this video and done them before I start this video. Because I am doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I decided to do it at this hour, 8.25. I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm going somewhere really much later, like 6pm. But I decided I'll do a chit chat, get ready with me to show you this look that I, that I done in Bristol. So I'm just going to recreate this glitter look with this Claire's palette. This Claire's eye glitter palette with silver. And I thought it'd be really cute to show you guys. So let's get started. Sorry. Have had breakfast. I love herbal tea. It's my favourite. My eyebrows are looking mad still, so I'm gonna start it going in with my eyeshadow now. Can't stand to look at myself. These crazy eyebrows. And I know I put concealer at the top. I always do that. I don't have a concealer that's my colour. Um, but I am going to film a con uh, can I speak a contour. Actually, I could use my foundation, but my foundation is not my colour either because I've got the wrong one. Not that I've got the wrong one, but I've got one that I'm not used to. So, hold on, let me zoom out a bit. No, I'm not in. Out, my friend. I look like a floating head. Hold on. That's fine. So, um, yeah, as I say, my foundation is a bit orange on me. So, if I put foundation up there, it would look orange anyway. So, you're just gonna have to deal with my halo brows today. But I'm gonna put foundation like everywhere. But, yeah, I can't stand to look at my crazy self, my bold eyes. So, I say bald like I meant to have hair on my eyes. I mean bald as in like I look different without eyeshadow and that. But, I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow now. Where's my mirror? Here's my mirror. Should I use this? Like, or this side? Let's use so, I'm actually quite pleased with how I've done my brows. My mum was like, your eyebrows look thick. And I was like, girl, I know. But look how, oh my god, I put so much concealer. But my eyebrows are getting better these days. Because my friend was like, you need to do them closer together. And I was like, girl, I know, I got you. So I'm starting to do them closer together. I think it actually makes me look much better. And I've actually found a shape that I can do now because my eyebrows are literally shapeless. They're just not disgusting, but they're just all over the place. At least I have eyebrows, you know what I mean? Let's not be ungrateful. Oh, I don't even need the mirror because I've got this eyeshadow palette with a mirror on it. But I will need it for some other things. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go with my Makeup Revolution um ultra eyeshadows palette flawless two my flawless two palette that's it i'm s i'm so rusty at this i haven't done a makeup video for ages i don't really do makeup videos to be honest like i'm not perfect to makeup either so do not judge um i wrote down what colors i'm gonna do because i know my ass always forgets um almost swore i know my self i always forget stuff you know well censored, Christina, well censored. Deep brown. So I'm going on in with this deep brown colour. I don't know what the colours are called because I lost the 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 plastic. Does anyone even even keep the plastic that comes with the eyeshadow? Because I used to and I was like, no, this is too long still. So I'm going in with this deep brown colour here. My Flawless 2 Makeup Revolution palette. My friend was like, this looks like the Morphe palette. And I totally agree with her. Uh, I'm just putting this all over my lids. Bye, Felicia. I didn't need you. So, this is a chit chat. Get ready with me. So they're going to chit and chat about boys. You know what, I'm so done with them. They're actually mad annoying. 
can't stand them. Them boy Pagan, Mickey can't stand them. I don't trust you if you're a man them. You know? It's one of them ones. Um They're just hella annoying, like they just seem to think that girls will just chase them. And it's like Okay, you cute. But you ain't that cute, you know what I'm saying? You're not that cute, darling. I'm not going to chase you. I've put more brown on my um, brush. I'm just going to do this other eye, but I'm going to carry on with this eye after I do <sighs> the rest of it, like the first bit of this. Because I usually, when I do my eyeshadow, I usually do that side and that side sometimes. I don't even know why. Um, I feel like it's just easier to follow the steps along. But yeah, boys, like for example, I went to go on a date with this guy for ages, right? And, um,. We planned it whilst I was in Bristol and it was raining this day and stupid me, I left my house thinking, yeah, we, we can still go out. He'll rearrange something else because we, we were meant to go to like this outdoor place. And um, he doesn't cancel me, which, yeah, is whatever, but... He didn't message me either to say that he's not coming. So I had to ask him to reply. I was like, am I an idiot? Can you reply? Like, I said different words. But I said, am I an idiot? Along these lines, I said, am I an idiot? Can you reply? And he was like, yeah, the weather's a bit mad still. Who says the weather's a bit mad still? Yeah, the weather's a bit mad still. Can you just say, I think we should rearrange because the weather's not looking too good. So I said, should I go home? He was like, well, we can't really stay outside. And I was like, is that how you want to flex? Like, you don't even want to tell me that you're cancelling, but you want to act like, um, like you pay rent in my life. Like, I'm going to chase after you. I'm just thinking, like, you're the one that asked me to come out with you. So don't ever do that to me ever again. So I just told him I moved on. Like, you're rude. You're too rude. And he didn't want to reply to me. And I was like, should we rearrange? So I just left it. And I said, I shouldn't even be asking to rearrange. Like, come on. Like, you asked me to come out. I actually feel like the uh, idiot for even suggesting to go out with this guy again. Because if you're not going to reply to me in the first place, I don't even know what I was thinking, but I told, I gave him what for anyway. And, and that's some other guy who wasn't replying to me for ages. But you know when they just don't reply, and you're just thinking, like, you get to the point where you're kind of worried, like, are you even, like, still alive? Like, raw, like, is it that deep? Am I that ugly? Like, am I that boring that like, you can't reply to my text? This guy has done it before, so I was just like, this is a different guy. I know, I like, can't just be chatting to one guy, come on. So, um, he was like, uh, just acting brand new. So I goes, uh, don't talk to me, I'm done talking to you, I'm not playing games anymore, basically. I said, the next bit's a bit cringe, but. I just basically cancelled, I just basically cancelled the two of them. And now I'm just feeling much happier, doing what I want to do, doing my YouTube, having time for myself. If the right person comes along, the right person comes along, but for now, I'm chilling. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just done this brown colour. Or whatever. Yeah, that's the brown. I don't look impressed today, wow. I actually look kind of mad. Um, and then I'm going in. I can't remember what colour I went in with last time. Hold on. I'm going in with this gold colour. In my Flawless 2 palette again. This one, it's the white. And. I'm going to go in my corners of my eye. This eyeshadow look is really simple. 
I don't do complicated eyeshadow looks. I don't even know how to do a cut crease. Am I even? Am I even a girl? Like, what girl doesn't know how to do a cut crease? Let's zoom in. Oh, it zoomed in all the way. Sorry, guys. Let me come in a bit close. Let me come in a bit closer. Mm. Definitely can't see me. Um, I'm just going to put some on that side as well. And then bring it around. And um, then use my finger to blend it in. Mm, Could be a show, my mind is a ninja. I've got a swimming skirt and I've got a one that's in the middle of my little finger. Oh, so you can have Mandem as well. This guy's actually quite nice. I went to Bristol, right? With my friend. I went to this club. This dancehall club, right? They're playing dancehall music. Uh, for, yeah, whatever. And this guy also bought me a drink. He didn't ask me what drink I wanted, which is kind of weird. I mean, I'm not being ungrateful, but he bought me a drink. And... I was like, I don't drink, right? Plus, I didn't see him get it from the bar. You should never do that. Guys, you should never take drinks from people and you don't know where it's come from. Like, obviously, you know it's come from the bar, but they could have spiked it. So, I'm not saying this guy would have spiked my drink, but you never know. I didn't know him. So, I went to the bar with him and he got me, like, this is so embarrassing. He got me soda water because I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink. So, yeah, he got me soda water and it's quite cheap, soda water. And I felt bad, like, even if you spend even if you spent five pounds on me, I feel bad and if you unless you're my boyfriend. Are you taking me out on a date? But I didn't expect him to buy me a drink, that's why I was just like, yeah, like thank you so much. But yeah. That was quite nice. And he asked my friends, Oh do you want like um do you guys want anything? And I thought that was so cute. That was really friendly, like, because normally, like, if a guy's talking to you, he's only talking to you, not your friends. And I thought, oh, wow, like, is that how you want to flex now? Like, Are you that? But, um, yeah, that was cute. Now, I've done with this Flawless 2 palette. I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Midnight Unicorn. I remember, hold on. You can see that. Midnight Unicorn. I always wanted the Unicorn palette. Every time I went to Makeup Revolution when it was new, I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a cute palette, like Unicorn. Look, I want that. So with the Midnight Unicorn palette, I'm so used to having like the the names of the eyeshadows underneath because I used to use MUA palettes, but yeah. I I'm using this white shimmery colour next to the pink. My unicorn midnight unicorn palette. I'm just going in the middle with this. I didn't do this last time but I feel like it would make the silver pop more if I put a bit of white underneath it. I oh, know getting all technical. I'm actually getting so much better at wait, you can't see me. I'm actually getting so much better at, um, what's it called, eyeshadow and makeup. Like, before, I was getting a bit rusty because I wasn't using it that much. There was a time on my YouTube channel but what I ever did, did was wear makeup and that was when I was in sixth form. And then I stopped because I got really bored of wearing makeup. Like, it was just like a thing where... It wasn't even special anymore, so now we're on special occasions and when I feel like it and when I feel like being bougie or when I'm doing a video. Even sometimes I don't wear makeup when I do videos because I'm just like, I'm sitting in the comfort of my own home. Why am I going around, like, say, I'm getting preed by a man in my own yard? I'm, I'm filming a video, do you know what I mean? But if I look hella rough, like, I will spruce up a bit. Actually, you know what? I looked hella rough in my last video. So I don't even know why. 
I'm saying that, but I look hella rough in my 2018 goals, my haul video. Let's be real, I looked rough in most of my videos recently. I did a, I did a video in my pyjamas. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I look a five year old. At first I was like, no, this is embarrassing. Like, I want to delete this video. And then I was like, actually, you know what, it's cute. Like, I look like a little cutie. People probably mistake me for some 15 year old on YouTube, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you're new to my channel, you probably click off so fast if you're not a return subscriber. You're probably thinking, what's this like five year old doing on YouTube? Go read your book. You know what I mean? I'm not doing no gang shit. Sorry! I didn't mean to swear, I feel bad. I got a new girl, she bad and she pushy. So I've done, I put the white where I'm putting all the glitter. Is this like a cut crease? Is this like a cut crease? I feel like it is. It looks kind of cute. But I didn't put the concealer. Um, because. Actually there's no excuse for me not putting this concealer. I should have. But I didn't put concealer. Kind of because. You know. Not you know. But this is quite. This. Um, actually I feel like it's quite pigmented and sticky. Like it's like lip gloss. But it's for eyes, so it's kind of like if I put concealer, it might get a bit too congealed. But I should have primed my eyes because I have got this powdery one on. But still, so I'm going with my eye glitter palette. I'm going to go with this silver color at the bottom here, and I'm just gonna put it where I put the white. Not all the way up here, I don't think, but I put it on my lid. Still out. Grab the wand. I think it's changed colour because last time I put my brush straight in after I used the brown and gold. So it's kind of like a burgundy colour, which I don't think is great to be honest. And the reason why this is a casual glitter look. Why I'm calling it casual glitter in the title is because, like, why is it Christina? Because it doesn't really come up really, really glittery, but it's like a casual glitter that you can wear like every day if you feel, if you feel like you want to be like a little special, little bougie. I wouldn't recommend wearing it to school, so don't even try that. Don't try that with me. I come down to your school myself. So take off my makeup wipes. Coming like deputy head up in here. Who remembers that in secondary school they used to be like take off your makeup and they'd get like a wipe for all these orange girls? But like, I was never that girl that wore makeup to school. Apart from like bright pink lipstick. Maybe a bit of mascara. But no one ever realised that I was wearing mascara because I've got quite long lashes. So like you're not wearing mascara. And I was like, girl, I is. And they'll be like, no, 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 I just want to see you wearing makeup. I'm like, I mean, I know I'm cute, but I am wearing a bit of makeup still. I'm going to put something in the corner. I didn't do that last time, actually. Don't know what I was thinking. I've always finished this glitter. I've hit, it's not pan, it's plastic. So I've hit plastic on it. Bye Felicia, man, I didn't need you. I got a Spanish girl and I called her Mama Sita. This video is going to take so long to edit. Also, man's forgot what other man's was going to say still. Man's a bad man, yeah, get me though. Um, so I'm filming the next video after this, which is why I'm not going to do my, my concealer. Uh, Am I gonna do my concealer? I'm gonna do my concealer and that, but I'm not gonna contour because I've got this new. If you watch my mini haul, you're a real MVP. If you didn't get to know what you're after this, 
I'm going to, so I'm going to use this Conceal and Define contour in my next video. Concealer in my next video to contour because I want to do first impressions, which is why I'm not going to contour in this video. But you can contour Slay to the Gods if you want for this look. I'm not going to each to their own. I know, I know. Oh, I feel like using another colour. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. I feel like that's enough glitter in each eye. And the white really does make it look a lot better. It makes it look like bluish silver. Don't know if you can see that. But I really like it. And I've started doing my brows and eyeshadow before I do the rest of my face. Which I find really helpful now. Because <sighs> before I used to be doing my foundation forgetting. My foundation first forgetting. And um, I'd be like doing my eyebrows and I'd have to wipe off like my eyebrows on the side because I was so bad at doing my eyebrows. Like the tail, I always get trouble with the tail so I'm always like, and then my foundation just goes everywhere and it's just a mess. Come on, black things on my face, like, really girl, really. Also, speaking of makeup, well this is a makeup video but my auntie is the plug. My cousins are the one. A a a. They got. They went to vegan super drug. Cause it's near the house. Um, and they got me and my mum some vegan makeup. So I'm gonna be testing that out. I might be testing it out with my mum in the video because she got some too. But if she's busy, then I'll just do it myself. Um. Yeah, she's got my best stuff, so I'm going to be showing that and doing first impressions as I go along like people do. I'm going to feel like a proper YouTuber. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm looking at my lids and thinking, damn. You can't really see them unless I go like that. But it's cute. And then I forgot what I'm going to do next. Mascara. Bye Felicia, and I didn't need your girlfriend, girl, I'm on the You got no how to tingle, do you you let me know? The bad girl, some good good, bad girl, if it's a good word, I don't know, no, but I don't know how to tingle, tingle. I want to listen to drill or some music, but it's like, I'm not trying to get copyright out here. I know drill music, you don't really get copyrighted. But I'm really not trying to, you know, do the most. Split in the middle, make them two past you. Climb on the table. I. Literally, um, got, well literally, what do you mean literally, of course just literally, uh, what else would it be, an innuendo, or ambiguous, um, oh, because you know, them big words, but I got some eyeshadow pigment, I'm so excited to use it, like some loose eyeshadow, from Claire's again, I just feel like, what's the point of going to MAC to get all these things, and you can go Claire's, like, girl, it might not actually be as good quality, but I feel like it's glitter. Um, what quality? What what different quality would there be? Unless, well, you get less in the pack, because like you get quite a big bottle. But I doubt I'll be using glitter that much to be like, oh, I need more than this. You know what I mean? I put too much on. Mask on. Oh, my auntie got me this mascara. Not this mascara, but a mascara from the Vegan Super Drug, right? And it's from. I can't remember what brand. It might be B Beauty. And one size for your top lash, one size for your bottom lash, and it's actually the best invention ever. Because I don't do my bottom lashes. I'm always scared I'll get 
stuff at the bottom. I won't be able to I won't be bothered to wipe it off. Um so yeah. I've been doing my eyelashes for a good minute, but do I do the top? But yeah. I love having long lashes. Mumsy in the group chat. Mumsy hasn't been on this channel in a while, but then again, I haven't been on this channel in a while, so no one's been on it. So I can't really talk. When you have long nails and you're always like, oh my gosh, they feel like they're going to come off because they're attached to this, because they're not attached. Well, I mean, they're attached, but they're attached to like your whole nail. So that the front bit that's like not on your nail feels like it's wobbly. But. I was so tired, I don't know why I decided to do this video so early. But I did. Oh, what's up? I'm having soup as soon as I finish. I'm doing my makeup. Sorry, but I got um. What do you call it? Tea on my mouth. <sighs> oh, I'm so cute. I'm trying to do cute. Far from it, Christina. That's how I feel when I put makeup on. Like, I'm so cute, and I take off. I'm like, I'm so buzz. But I'm actually, I'm not buzz. I shouldn't say that. Now, I'm gonna go on this bad foundation I don't like because it's not my colour. Have I used that much already? Look how much I've used, I've used like that much. But I have had it since December. It's a Dream Satin Liquid Satiny Finish. What's it called? Paula's Perfection Satin Light Essence in the colour Deep Spice 64. Now, the reason why I don't use drugstore, I use body shop, is because um, it's kind of orangey undertone all the time. I feel like I've got a yellow undertone. So, this is going to make me look tangoed for a second. Don't mind me for a second. I'm going to be using my beauty blender. I'm going to dampen it a bit. This beauty blender is actually from B Beauty in Superdrug. Because I've got a um, contour kit. Because my contour brush went missing. And it came with a bag and everything. So I got it in the December sale. Christmas sale. And I'm, I just used the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. Amazing make Makeup Fix and Spray. To spray it, and Abigail, my friend, got me that, and I was so pleased because I needed a, a setting spray. And I was just like, This girl really bust me, she really nice me. Using the pointed side, I'm just gonna blob it all on at first and then blend it in after. Oh my god, my foot hurts. Sorry, I'm such a slob. Just burped. I remember I used to do my concealer after my before my foundation. I wonder if that was actually a good look because back in sixth form, I really just watched every YouTuber and done what they done without realizing like everyone's got their own technique. And now I've got my own technique. I'm just like, I wonder if I, I was actually a good look. And I wonder if man done preed me. I'm joking, I'm joking. <sighs> See. Now on camera it makes me look proper orange, but it's not that bad in real life. But I feel like I should have pressed it in straight away so letting it instead of doing blobs. Because now 
I'll look and for in the video. But I feel like it would be my colour if it was summer. Or like sunny. But it ain't sunny, so it's not my colour. So you can start with the technicalities. Start with the chemistry, start with the biology. Uh, and excuse my hair. I just washed it and I couldn't bother to style it, so I couldn't bother to twist it um, and stretch it out because I would take couldn't longer. And I really wanted to get this video up because I plan. I scheduled that today I would actually like do you know. I scheduled that I'd actually do like a video and do my deadline because when, when I've got deadlines I work really well I know I write in my YouTube book and everything to film on the second day after April Fool's so you know I don't want to do some pranks, like an April Fool's prank next year, and some pranks on my brother. But I don't know what pranks to do. So if you're watching this, comment below what prank you want me to you want to see me do to my brother. Because I really have no clue, apart from like clapping and then f like clapping and putting flour in my hands and it goes all over his face. That's all I can think of. It's really all I can think of. I feel like my booty blender looks like it's so dirty even when I put on foundation, but it's because I'm brown. Um, next thing. You're a dead thing. I'm an awful man, an idiot. You can do all things through Christ. You strengthen you, so take me for idiot. Who's seen that meme? You can do all things through Christ, except take me for idiot. Word times two times four times six times eight yeah i feel like i might do back chat reviews now because i really like i proper like back chat um when there was a team esther and uni beef i was like i wish i was on youtube to fit my two cents but i was just not feeling up to it i had a lot going on that those days but might do some reviews on that chat. Next I'm going to be doing my... Do I have my lip gloss? <gasps> no! I'm sure I bought my lip gloss. I bought my lip gloss. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. by all the boys who stop it. What do you know about me? What do you, what do you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know is that my lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. That's why all the boys are stopping. Okay. I could talk for England. That's why I like doing chit chat. Get ready with me. I feel like once I tried to do one, it was kind of hard for me because I wasn't used to it. But now I can just sit in front of the camera and talk for ages. That it. So now I look a bit orange. I'm gonna put some dimension in my face. I'm going to conceal, conceal, set, so I'm not going to bake, um, put on my lip gloss maybe, not baby, I will put on my lip gloss, but, yeah, I'm not going to contour, I want to highlight, but first I need to spray my face, <gasps> sorry, Hi Felicia. I hate doing this. It makes me feel so nervous. I can feel it raining on me. Like it just falls from the air and it just goes all over me. I need to get new hair products as well. Like my hair's lacking. Plus I trimmed it recently. But I have heat protectant and I want to straighten it. But I feel like if I straighten it, what style am I really doing? Or I need to blow dry it with heat protectant anyway. 
so I don't have like heat damage. I feel like this part of my hair is like the best texture. It's like really nice, and then this part, this part's still nice, but it needs like hair conditioner for it to like get soft. Hair conditioner? Yeah, leave in conditioner for it to get soft. So it's been my face that's dried. I'm gonna put concealer. Concealer. Like concealer. Concealer. Like concealer. Concealer. Do you know what I need to do? Start driving. Start making money moves. But I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon, let's be honest. I mean, I love being optimistic and putting things out into the universe. But there's like realistic and there's dreams and that's not happening anytime soon but it will happen i mean it's happening but not right now it'll happen soon that's what i mean not not anytime soon it will happen soon see i feel like this concealer is not too it might be two shades later than my foundation maybe three but it's definitely not complimenting this look because it's making me look more orange and i'm in the color Cool tan. Cool tan. I didn't say that properly. I saying for my com my camera really died on me. Not died, but um, stopped because it only films every twenty minutes. I wanted the LA girl. I don't use an LA girl for conceal. I wanted the LA girl. Uh, other concealer in toast to contour with or like a dark colour don't necessarily know if it would have been toast to contour with but now that Makeup Revolution's got the contour sticks out contour and highlight stick well that's what I'm going to call them contour and highlight stick but actually concealers I'm just going to use that as a contour and I probably keep my LA girl as my concealer because I quite like it but I will use um I mean, I've got a whole nother pack of this, so by the time I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll do first impressions, people would have impressed, been impressed by it already. You know what I mean? I've got so many dusty spots on my face. I was watching this girl on YouTube, she was contouring, and it was like a flat nose contour tutorial. What she does is she contours here and here and it makes you and then she puts the concealer in and she puts powder in on the insides like here and here and then she goes like this and what it does is it contours your nose without you putting two straight lines on your nose so when I do that this goes all the way here, goes all the way here, and I'm be looking crazy. Sometimes it goes in the middle. I love doing this because I feel like I look like something out of Lion King. I'm not gonna do my chin. I'm just gonna put powder on my chin because when I highlight my chin. It goes all the way highlighted. I don't like that. It makes me look like I've got a button chin. Because I already have a button chin, like I've got a line here that makes me look like I've got a defined face. So when I highlight it, I just look like I've got a button shiny chin. So I'm not gonna about, I'm not about to do that. My friend was like to me, my friend in Bristol was like to me, you have a song for everything. So every time, she, uh, she said something, I'd say a song. She was like, you quote music instead of quoting Bible verses. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to start doing that. So be prepared, yeah? You know what I mean? I feel like everyone does that, like, has a song for everything. This is my new one that I'm looking at. I just love looking at new pieces of makeup. It's just so satisfying. Especially concealer and like foundation and stuff. And you're like, I can't wait to use that. But you've got one that's already open, so I don't know why you're gassing yourself up. Like you haven't used it before in your life. So I'm gonna go ahead with my beauty blender again. It's still damp. 
I think. I don't have better than doing my country though. I look like a unicorn. I mean, I look crazy, but I look like a unicorn with these eyes. I feel like I should put my stick-on gems on each side of my eye, but what if it goes in my eye? Oh my god. Or on here. That would look cute. Get some, like, if you're going carnival or something, you can put a gem there. And, uh... Mm-hmm. This my... Oh, the girls to your feet there. Someone liked my tweet, so. Because I'm just like cool. Oh my gosh, my neck, my button chin's itching me. I hate when I itch my face when I've got foundation on and I don't have nails on. And it gets underneath my nails and it looks like I have like some dirty nails. I need to start doing this rather than scratching my whole face off. Literally. I'm going to put on some. Now to open my big bag of makeup, which is great. I hate doing this sometimes. <sighs> but I gotta do it. First I gotta do it, then I gotta grab it, then I gotta put some and have it, then I gotta have it. Have it. Hey, look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Hey, hey, hey. Like paper, look at me now. Hey, look at me now. Yes. Shit, mm. I'm using this banana juice loose powder, powder by W7 Wet and Wild, I think it is. Is W7 Wet and Wild? 
No, it's War Paint Cosmetics, actually. It's only 4 99 for this, this powder. Which is actually hella cool. Um, I'm just going to rest up my trousers. And... Tap it out a bit. Yeah. A lot of people use this on YouTube. I was using this for quite a while when I realised about it. So I saw it in Zandy's, this hair shop in Lewisham. The black owned hair shop. And I thought, I might as well support. So I got this. And I think I got something else. I don't even know. I just got this. Four ninety nine and some hair. So I came all the way to Lewisham from West, so I thought, why not? So, um, yeah. I got the Banana Dreams and I've loved it ever since. And it's so natural. Like, it do not give you flashback. As much as if I was to use like a really ashy one, it's not ashy at all. I feel like it's a good dupe of Sacha Buttercup, Sasha Buttercup, or Benai. But I've never used any of them because I don't have the money to be parting with. So I just got this for four ninety nine. I was really happy with it. I was like, I can finally bake! And this was like ages ago. I got in like 2016. So weird how many fashion, like, fashion and makeup fads have been out since the new generation has come along. I feel like the old generation never knew anything about, like, they probably did knew, know a thing or two about contouring. But, like, baking, not really. That's mad. They probably thought that's mad still. I want to go clubbing on the 13th. I'm going clubbing on Friday the 13th, guys. I know what you're thinking. Christine, you've got death wishes. Bad luck day. You're going to be coming home day. You're going to bend up, twist up your ankle in your shoes. Does it look like I care? Then tell me, is you mad? Or not, okay? Because actually, in reality, I don't believe in Friday the Thirteenth. It's a superstitious thing, and I ain't to know. I ain't in a no witchcraft, so you know. Even though it looks like it right now, but I ain't in a no witchcraft. So there's no need for me to worry. No need for me to hide. I'll take all my mistakes and you put me in the side. Don't know how it goes. But if you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. Oh, oh. Oh, I love the alarms. Just brushing that off because I'm not baking. I mean, I probably baked a little bit with this because I didn't press it in. But not a heavy bake. Not coming like bakery out here. Not coming like hot crust buns. love YouTube even though I don't get paid for it like they took off my monetization and everything I really like it like I wasn't doing it for the money anyway because there's a time when I was 16 just started it everyone was making their money like the Patricia Brights of this world everything even though the rose when she started she wasn't like getting paid but she got paid quite quickly because she's actually a really good YouTuber and her editing style is the best out of all the UK YouTubers I've seen or the UK girl YouTubers I've seen but yeah, I was like, at first I was like, how are they going to take off my monetization? 
And I was like, I've been doing it for ages without getting paid. Like, I might as well carry on. So, I just use it as a hobby now. And I feel like it's filtered out all the people that were doing it just for the money and that. And there's less and less people doing it, which is good for me. Because then I'll get more coverage on my channel and stuff. No. And stuff. See, now my eyebrows look normal, guys. See what I said about my halo brows? Don't need to worry about them. You know, you're done. No, you're done. I need to do my eyebrows because as you can see here, there's hair there and there's like hair there. I need to get them shaped so I can do them properly. They won't be looking tick, mum. Will they? Eyelashes. It's so long. I'm actually so low on my camera, so I'm gonna have to carry up. Not con not contouring. What else am I doing? Highlight! And Abigail got me this for my birthday as well. She got this highlight palette. I don't know if I should use this highlight palette or not. Yeah, I will. And it's the Ultra Pro Glow palette by Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to be using. This brush from Real Techniques, my contour brush. Or is it a concealer brush? To highlight. I feel like highlight brushes aren't as good as this brush to highlight with. So I'm just highlighting with this. Just a subtle little highlight because everyone hates it when I highlight to the god. She's like, You've got too much on. And I'm like, Girl, it's a new trend. That is cute, but I feel like it's too high up. It feels like I'm going clubbing. Now I'm just going to do it here. I just realised I should use silver highlight. But, so the highlight looks ashy on me, the straven one. So I don't use it that much. Oh, I'm so happy I've done No, I've got my lip gloss. I feel like the best uh, videos on my channel got the most views on the review videos. I don't know why I say I feel like, but because it's a fact. And it's true. But yeah, I'm really happy with the fact that reviews and first impressions are like my most viewed ones. Because I like doing videos on that because I'm mostly makeup and stuff and skincare, so I could do more of that. At least it's not like reaction videos and parodies. So I'm gonna do more review videos as well. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to film another video that's going to be up a week after this one. My first impressions on my contour stick by Makeup Revolution. Concealer stick, contour stick that I'm contouring with. So I'll see you soon. I'll probably charge my camera. This is a finished makeup look. I'll do some close-ups and I'll do a thumbnail too. I'll see you soon.